And here is the computer wall complete. It's definitely looking real bright on the LCD there. But it's pretty good in person and once it actually goes behind the wall it dims down a little further. If I get it not to cross wire, so this is pretty much it. It's not so overbearing that it influences the light that's around it and it's bright enough that it stands out on its own. Back here is definitely a little bit of a mess, a hodgepodge. But it works and it's fairly condensed, so that's what matters most for this. Took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. This is uh 36 and 12, 48 LEDs in this one spot alone. So from here I'm going to leave this uh, fairly modular. I've got to run a few more LEDs behind here now and start doing the fiber optics and then this piece apart from painting will be done. So this was definitely a major achievement getting all this out of the way and uh, I'm glad it worked out as well as it seems to have. So this is close to the actual colors going on. The true looking orange are the yellows, the reddish looking ones are the oranges and then the uh, other ones there are the warm whites with the goldish clear captain tape in place. The whole thing is definitely too bright for the area. Comparing it to any shots where there's people standing nearby, it barely gives off any light whatsoever. So I'm going to have to put a pile more resistors onto all these LEDs. Each one has 10K right now, so what I'm thinking I'll do is just swirl. There's 48 of them, so. I'll swirl like 12 of them together and see what that does and then if that doesn't work go for 24 and so on. But the uh, colors certainly in person are a really good match and I think they're not too bad here. They're a little too pure I think. So uh, I still need to really dirty up the surface to get it much darker looking like this and faded. So I've got some frosted glass that could work and uh, I think I'll get to that when I get to it but there's another option I've got for that circuit board wall as well so uh, let's take a look at that in a few I just had to get a shot of this having this many resistors and LEDs clo this close to each other it's going to generate a good amount of heat but it's not unmanageable this is 10k of resistor on each LED there's another 24 here and another 24 here. I went a little looser on this one for some heat dissipation, but this one I kind of wrapped really tightly. This is going to be generating a lot of heat, and I'm actually going to do some tests on this over the next 24 hours to see exactly how hot this gets. Uh, if necessary, I'll install a little 5mm, 10mm fan inside the model behind the scenes to uh, help on airflow but to mitigate the heat I'm also going to use this captain tape which is uh, really good for that so I'm led to understand so I just wanted to get a shot of this before uh, I wrap that up negative lead positive lead and this is gonna snake under to where I need it to pretty well this is a fairly good connection right here and uh, as long as I don't abuse that, it should work out well. I just wish I could get some heat shrink around that to make it really good and stable. But uh, I'll beef it up with the tape here. So that's it for this one. I actually got to get some uh, color reference for this panel here for the LEDs that go in there so I can wire those up. I also need to definitely spray paint this really soon so it's looking like the computer wall 
approaching done I got to uh, take a look at the control panel over there probably next and uh, see what kind of lights are involved there and uh, that's about it for this installment thanks for watching see ya here's a look at the difference the top panel has none of the textured glass which is this stuff right there it's two layers whereas the bottom and the middle do they almost line up pretty good I got to do something about that top middle row because uh, it really should be more distinctly dark than that there's actually a greenish cast on it in almost all of the photographs everything lines up fairly well this is with a full 20k of resistance on each LED <clears throat> and it's much more toned down now it's a fair amount of cast light going on don't know if I want to dim it more but there's always the uh, opportunity to here is a shot of the entire thing with all the captain tape on it this is largely not only to uh, did I go heavy around the resistors themselves but this is also to help stabilize it and hopefully minimize any breaks because uh, this thing is definitely cobbled together and it couldn't be too much of a tighter thing so I should actually check it out on deck and see how it looks inside the body like this there will be a few more LEDs getting attached to this but uh, not too much it's looking like they'll each have their own power lead the computer wall definitely needs its own so uh, yeah I'm definitely happy with this overall the colors are pretty much right there I'm really torn about leaving uh, those white LEDs white compared to the yellow because mm, I don't know it's really close those are definitely yellow-ish in the photo here but they're definitely not white whereas these are definitely yellow or white so maybe if I can work something out they probably wouldn't be too bad if I could even get them just a little bit dimmer as well. So I think that's going to be mostly it. Oh, hey. So, uh, no, that's not mostly it. So the top is without the textured glass. The bottom and middle are with it. So that definitely adds a little uh, detail going on. Let's put the circuit wall. And I gotta say, I do like this the best. It offsets the light in a certain way that simulates what's going on for real. The circuit board print design, if this will let me get closer. It gives a lot of archaic detail going on, which is really perfect. If I could get those yellows to be less yellow. Right now there's a strip of captain tape running across the front of that. If I could just barely do the edge so it catches that with still a white center to get it more similar to this because in a photo like this one that's definitely very nearly white and when you've got a color reference like robot sitting here as well that's very very close to white. far closer to white than the yellow currently is and far yellower than the white currently is but overall I definitely like this well maybe I'll have to put some kind of light behind that top middle, col middle row there just to make it more obvious it's clearly not lit in something like this and it's definitely green glass but this just doesn't reflect anything at all here so we'll work on that but I do think uh, this is pretty close to it it's really subtle and if you scroll back you'll probably see compared how much 
little light this actually gives off this is really close to negligible